All right, class, we continue with our workbook, practice two, equivalent ratios. We're going to practice some equivalent ratios here. Find the missing numbers. All right, so the pictures, right? There are, what, 10 trains, and there are how many? If you calculate 14 cars, right? 14, 10 and 14. So this is your ratio, right? Trains to cars is 10 to 14. Right, and then what we get? What are we doing here? We are putting them all together in the groups of two, right? And then we have five groups, and we have seven groups, right? And our ratio becomes five to seven. Okay. So on the next page, uh, fill in the blank. Same thing. You calculate for things here. This is gonna be sixteen. This is gonna be what twenty hearts. And stars to hearts, stars to hearts, 16 to 20, right? Uh, we group them up, group, make group of two, right? And then how many groups we have? We're gonna group, have a groups of eight, right? And we're gonna have a groups of 10, so eight to 10. Lastly, we regroup them again. We're gonna put them four in one group. We're gonna have four groups, and here we're gonna have what five groups, right? So four to five. Once again, 16 to 20, 8 to 10, 4 to 5 are all called equivalent ratios. It's all the same thing. Okay, so next problem uh, we need to find the ratio between the number of oranges and number of apples, right? In the simplest form. So you can see, like, we don't need to count all of them, they are grouped. There is one group, second group, so two groups, and there are, what, three groups, right? So two to three, this is our ratio, right? Now, the next problem, we have to simplify everything. Nine and 24, what can we divide? We can divide both of them by three, right? Divide by three, right? And then it's gonna be three to eight. 10, 25, well, find the common factor, right? So it's gonna be two and five. Uh, five, I'm gonna just give you the answers and you need to solve everything yourself. Seven, eight, and then three and five. Okay. All right, how do we transform our fractions? We have a fraction uh, over here. Uh, right, two, two to seven, right, and two becomes six, right, so seven becomes what kind of number we need to know, right, so two becomes six, we need to multiply by three, so both of them multiply by three, seven times three is 21, very simple. Next one over here, right, five to six is some number to 24, right, we don't know which number. Right, so six to six divide. Why is it? Oh, okay, because it's other way around. Right, this way. Okay, twenty-four divide by six. We find our number. It's four. So this means if this is four, right? And which number? So four by four by five. Four times five, right? Or twenty divide by four is five. Okay. Okay, you got it. So that's gonna be 20. All right. Next one. C. Uh, right. You're gonna do, you're gonna do this again now. So 816, and to which number here? Right. You need to multiply by two. Right. So if you multiply this by two, that's gonna be 22. All right. Next problem. Uh, 418 same thing 2 and 4 like 18 and 18 divide divide by 2 right 2 times 2 becomes 4 right so this 9 9 times 2 becomes 18 all right so you get the idea do everything yourself i'm going to just give you the answers 35 check your answers 3 7 5 Okay, all right. Okay, uh, same thing here, right? The ratio 42, some kind of, some number is like two to five, right? 40 to what? 
right? So from two, so two, for two to become 40, right? We need to multiply it by 20, okay? So it means we multiply this side by 22 and five times 20 is 100. This is 100, okay? 100, okay? Uh, next problem here, right? 30 and three, what is the ratio, right? 30 divided by, 30 divided by which number becomes three? It divided by 10, right? So we divide 50 by 10, it's gonna be five, five to three. All right, you, I hope you understand the principle, right? I'm just gonna solve everything yourself and check the answers. All right, I'm gonna give you the answers. 35, uh, 36, 96. All right, this is gonna be six. This is gonna be 133. This is gonna be 264 and four. Okay. All right, you need to do uh, all the calculations here and uh, see what's gonna happen, right? Five to four is like 25 to what? Five, five times, where's my pen? Five times five is 25, right? So times five, okay, four times five is, four times five is 20, so 20, okay? And then you put your numbers over there. I'm just giving you, gonna give you the answer and you can, uh, you can check it yourself. So shadow, that's the answer, okay? Solve everything yourself, check your answers. That's gonna be 12, 15, 104, 36, 112, 132, and 108. Okay. Okay, that was the end of it. I hope you, you got it right, all the, uh, all the ratios. Uh, we're gonna practice more in the homework book and if you don't understand, drop me a comment. Alright, see you.